This reaction is the second step of making this sodium peroxide here. In the first step, you react sodium metal, just Na, with oxygen. And then after that happens, this Na2O will absorb more oxygen if you have it about 300 degrees, and that will make the sodium peroxide here. To balance it, let's count the atoms up. We have two sodium atoms and then one oxygen atom. But do be careful, there's two more over here. People often forget those. We need those though. There's three of those. We have two sodium atoms, and then here we have two oxygen atoms. Whenever I have this odd number here, I like to get that to an even number. So I think what I'll do is put a two in front of the Na2O. This two applies to everything. So let me update this here. We have a total of one times two. That'll give us two oxygen atoms plus these two oxygen atoms here. That gives us four oxygen atoms. And then we do need to update the sodiums because we have two times two. That'll give us four sodium atoms. I think that's okay now because if we just double these, they'll be the same, we'll be done. So let's put a two in front of the sodium peroxide, the Na2O2, two times two, that equals the four, and the two applies to everything, so two times two here. That'll equal four, and now we're done. This equation is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na2O plus O2. Thanks for watching.